Think of the smartest person you know. What is the dumbest thing they've ever done? My friend has a master's degree in mechanical engineering and robotics. He once made a potato salad with raw potatoes because he thought, since it's a salad, you're not supposed to cook it. This, this is the kind of real world practical thing my friend would screw up. I love it. My brother was in uni in the UK and needed a toaster. He ordered on off of Amazon for £3 and was surprised to find one so cheap. Turns out it was a kid's toy. It came with plastic pieces of bread as well. Friend of my mother's, PhD in biology, specialized in mushrooms. She was also a bit of an artist, and carved wood with bacteria in her spare time. She'd previously tried to do it with fungus, and, well, it wasn't fast enough. After a few years of carving with bacteria she decided they weren't fast enough either, so she switched to insects, ordered band beetles from Japan, illegal insecticide from South America, and went to town carving faces in wood. Except that the government had noticed, when she got raided there were 6 federal agencies and at least as many from the state, FBI, EPA, D, FWS, USDA, CBP. Hello, I'm a professor of biology at work great, the D and FBI were willing to overlook her coca based insecticide, considering that she was eligible to purchase it with a couple of forms, the EPA and CBP didn't care about her illegal boring beetles for much the same reason, fish and wildlife didn't even know why they were there, the problem was the USDA, during the search of her house they found a bag of the fungus that causes Dutch elm disease, open, on the kitchen counter next to the toaster oven she even got out of that my sister my wonderful sister so intelligent educated but dang they had their house inspected and the inspector found an issue with their gas heat called in a repairman and it turns out they were having lower levels of carbon monoxide leaking into their home when my mom asked her why she didn't have several working detectors she answered well i did but one just wouldn't quit beeping this was 10 years ago and we still bring it up all the time Thankfully everyone turned out to be okay, but that wouldn't have been the case much longer. My dad is a software engineer and pretty smart. When my twin and I were about 7 he was the only one home with us when he started coughing up blood. Except he didn't tell anyone and decided to just wait for my mom to get home instead of getting someone else to look after us and going to the hospital. My mom was so pissed when she got home and he casually mentioned the coughing up blood thing. Turned out he had bronchopneumonia and had to spend a couple weeks in the hospital, even had to have his heart stopped and started again. He almost died because he decided coughing up blood wasn't an emergency, even had to have his heart stopped and started again. He truly was a software guy. I imagine them unplugging his tachycardiogram, everyone waiting 30 seconds, then plugging it back in to resume compressions. I have a neighbor. He is by far the smartest person I know. A couple 4th of July's ago he got a quarter stick of dynamite, and strapped it to an RC boat with a detonate button and a timer. He sent it out on the lake at night, flipped the switch and it didn't go off. So he took it back into the house to fix it, but never turned the detonate button off. So when it was fixed the 7 second timer started going, it ended up going off in the house and blowing out all of the windows. Everyone was safe. TLDR. My neighbor blew up his house. It's like an episode of Wally, Coyote and the Roadrunner. Easy. Dad's an actuary, basically a cross between a mathematician and an economist, wrote a textbook for his field, and has been CEO of several very large companies. I came home many years ago to hear Age of Empires blaring at a million dB. That's odd. I wander downstairs to find him playing the game, with headphones on, but unplugged. He had the sound turned up on the speakers because he couldn't hear it over the dampening of the headphones. To top it off, he had the headphones on backwards. To this day makes me smirk. We were in a conference that mentioned bulimia and she said I think I have ancestors from there. Girl I know has a masters in chemistry and still thought she could get away with casual Matthews as if that is a thing. Brother-in-law is a pretty clever guy. Ran a bath for his kid. Couldn't get the tap to turn off. Mad panic. Rang a plumber friend asking him to come round quick or the house is gonna flood. Friend was like, you could just pull the plug. Real nice. Real clever guy. Zero common sense. A lot of people are only used to things going right and working as they should. When things don't they become complete vegetables. Also, when it's their own stuff it's hard to see the forest from the trees. 
I tend to panic when shit goes wrong in my house, but relatives or friends, I'll calmly say, just do A, B and C, no big deal, same shit my house, up, uh, if I'm ruined, sell this house now. Where we are, you don't mess with jellyfish, they F you up, my partner, postgrad quals, civil engineer, super rational, smart, measured, not at all impulsive human being walking along the water's edge at the start of jellyfish season, sees a mass in the water, that looks like a jellyfish, kicks the mass, toe connects with mass, F, it was a rock, having gotten over my amazement at the stupidity I just witnessed, I pocketed the rock, gave it to him as a congratulations at your amazing career promotion, just to remind him he is not immune to errors of judgment, amazing foresight, I'd have that on my desk forever. I did my undergrad with a guy who got an almost perfect score on his MC80 but also ate a raw chicken breast because he thought it was a really bad hot pocket. He was sober. My older brother was the high school valedictorian and decided to cut an apple with a large knife while holding it in his hand. He has a lovely scar from it. Oh my god my now husband then boyfriend did that in my dad's kitchen. He cut his finger, ran to the bathroom, refused to sit down or let me help him, and proceeded to faint. Also this was the first time my husband met my dad, so solid first impression. My dad, TAFE professor, got his mortgage down to $20,000 and had the opportunity to pay it all. We drew and bought a brand new car, totaled car, bought another brand new car, gave it to girlfriend at the time, girlfriend left and kept car. Currently owes $250,000 on his same mortgage. Wow that is spectacularly stupid. No offense. None taken. I completely agree. They use their bare hand to check if the stove was still hot by pressing it directly on the burner. And they had two doctorates. My buddy who is now brilliant emergency medicine doctor at one point while sledding bet he could jump off his moving sled. Over a flat bench. And land on the sled. While moving. He realized he couldn't position to jump and crash to package into the bench. Dumbest genius I have ever met. Sounds like his career origin story. Looks sad mangled. Reconstructed ribcage. What did they do? We had some of the best doctors working you. No one could have done better. I could. I could have done better. My older brother. Hands down one of the smartest people I've ever had the privilege of knowing. Once got incredibly drunk, and wrote A in big black permanent marker on the right A cheek of an acquaintance who was wearing a brand new pair of like $85 white jeans. Never seen him look so ashamed while giving money to a person for clothing. While applying for a job, he thought sick pay meant that the job paid really well. One of my favorite ones so far. I hear the pay here is pretty rad bruh. Deshawn. Rodrigo Company. Position. Financial Operation Director. Hiring. Urgent. Job description. We are the OG Wall Street clout. Gang gang. Fintech is our biggest sh. We do Bitcoin too. Get the F out of here with yo old coin crap. S all real number game. We ain't no joke so you better be rad. Yeet other investors. We go in appesh. Requirements and preferences. Ivy League grad with top 10 MBA sh. Public Ivy. Shut the F up. Sociopathic machine gun gangster who knows the game. Bulge bracket dropout is a plus. Kill them all with yo smart a brain. Trust fun baby. Get yo a right here you moth of CKA. Did I f in stutter? You already know what it is. Benefits. Sick pay. Lit fam. Chill boss. Fat cash money 401k. Or equivalent. Fly first class for annual vacay. F shop in Europe. F abamica. We got yo healthcare covered for free. Ever heard of Mount Sinai? Contact information. Email, phone number, F off, snitches get stitches, come to bed Brooklyn, get off at Nastrand Avenue Station, see Home Depot, keep walking Pulaski Street, find a maroon colored brick building, spot a homie at the front door, he is wearing a green hoodie, ask him the price of plastic chimichanga, he will give you a secret ride to our headquarters, remain blindfolded, don't act like a bee. Meet my real fellas at the office. We ain't need no papers. Show us what you got. My husband. He's a mathematician for the feds. But he has repeatedly gotten us to the wrong airport in cities that have more than one. Like at least three times. He's brilliant. But a moron. I'm also married to a mathematician. I feel your pain. 
I wouldn't trust him to plan or navigate any kind of travel, ever. I lived in Colorado Springs. My friend came into town and was booked into a hotel. I called and asked for the name or address of the hotel and he told me he did not know, but he could see the mountains from where he was. He narrowed his location down to a time zone. Chief Wiggum giving his location, pro tip, the hotel name and address, and main phone number, are usually printed on the hotel room phone. Basic B tip, remember where the F you are. My dad is the smartest person I, and anyone who knows him, know and once when we were kids he tried to make us laugh by sticking peas in his nostrils and ended up accidentally snorting them up into his nasal passages. Best part, he's an ear, nose, and throat surgeon. One of the best in the region I can still hear him pleading with my mother to take them out because he couldn't face his colleagues with peas up his nose that he voluntarily put there. My sister once put something like 17 peas in her nose. She shot them out in a machine gun snot rocket blast that was captured in an amazing photo that I can't find. They didn't all come out though, and the last one worked its way out several hours later. My aunt, college professor, PhD in mathematics was blown away when watching my father cook rice without a rice cooker. I was picking up my date, future wife, when her valedictorian roommate turned quickly away from the TV and said in all seriousness don't look, they're welding, it will damage your eyes. She got more serious as I continued to look back and forth at the TV and her. She actually yelled it's going to blind you. I then asked her so when your TV is showing an image of the Sunday, that's as far as I got. You could see the wave of embarrassment wash over her face. She immediately started laugh crying and begged me not to tell anyone. And yet here you are, spilling the beans. Snitches get BS, or something like that. Tried jumping over a pallet of boxes with their arms tied behind their back. Split lip open. Reminds me of when my friend thought it was a smart idea to cross a busy street blindfolded. Yup, this cricket's a lucky one. Told me that they believe sex scenes in movies were real and didn't understand how the actors significant others handled it. This person is a doctor. Fun story. In the movie Reanimator there's a scene where the actor David Gale goes down on a woman. At the premiere his wife shouted this is what you do for a living, and later divorced him. My colleague was tasked to put mail into the mailbox. She asked me where it is and what it looks like. Around the corner. And it's a red box. Turns out, there is another red box marked General Waste, about 2M away. Is the red box that spells out Australia Post. She's been throwing away mail. Given their reliability, it's what Australia Post would have done anyway. I feel making them both the same color is a bit of a stuff up. This is the best we can do in the 21st century. I'm not sure what it's like elsewhere. But in Australia our bins look very different to our post boxes. Even if they are both red you would be able to tell which is a bin and which is a post box. My friend in college graduated summa cum laude with a double major in biology and chemistry. She went on to medical school and became a physician in a hospital you've definitely heard of. One day she put a fork in the microwave when heating up a bowl of green beans. And I had to explain to her why the microwave sounded like it was full of firecrackers. I don't know if he's necessarily the smartest person I know but I know a pretty smart astrophysicist who pointed out a star test which was in fact a plane. That's awesome. In all senses of the word. No joke. Poured gasoline on a campfire. My brother has PhDs in Biangani Ring. We were on a call one day and he was saying I can't find my phone. Probably my kids took it. Didn't realize until I told him that he was using his phone to talk to me. You are always at your dumbest around siblings. I credit my intelligence to being an only child. Called me at 2.30 am. To ask a work question. No problem. It was part of the job and project we were on. He then called me back at 3.45 am. To say I just wanted to say thanks. That worked just like you said it would. My one college professor had a double doctorate several masters, and was literally was the head of the national magazine for his field and had a lot of respect in the science community. He didn't know electric eels were real, like he argued with us. To be fair, the concept of electric eels is really effing weird. It dazzles me that some animals have evolved to actually deliver effing electric shocks. Just like Pokemon. Yeah, electric and lives and breathes a conductor. WTF.
so my so was assigned a group project to write about how their major works in different countries of the world, like majors is in China, Japan, Canada, Russia, etc. My so's group was assigned Africa, yes, as in the country of Africa, they tried to tell the professor that obviously Africa is not a country, but the professor was adamant. They eventually just decided to pick one country inside Africa to base the whole project on, which one of them had lived in for 30 plus years before coming to the US, the kicker, this was at a HBCU, historically black college university. My mother, Oxford mathematics graduate with no parental leg up shall we say, Akonot from a posh family or anything, had her IQ tested officially in a proctored exam and got 163. Mensa member till she realized what kind of person joins Mensa. This woman cannot understand time zones, which is ironic because her family lives in Australia, Hong Kong, the UK and the east and west coast of America. She never knows when it's appropriate to be calling anyone and you may get a random call from her at 3am, but we love her anyway. My best friend is a researcher for space stuff at a top university in the United States and is getting her PhD and masters simultaneously. She has several computer science math degrees and graduated with honors. She's the smartest a lot of people know. I'm very proud of her. That being said her list of common sense things is rather low. I've had to explain to her exactly why picking up hitchhikers is a no-no. Why hiking along trails alone in deep woods alone is dangerous. But truly the take the cake the incident that happened when we were freshmen in college. We went to different colleges several hours and different states away but talked weekly. 10 years later, we still do. In a way she calls me saying her clothes stink and she had washed them several times without wearing them. I ask what kind of detergent she's using and she says Tide. I say that it's probably the from washing machines and they are never cleaned and to get some fresh or vinegar. She agrees and says, maybe I should use detergent more often. Jazz music stop. What wait. I sputtered out in my hysterical sobs of laughter listen smartest person I know. You have to use laundry detergent every single time you wash clothes and that's why they stink. As a child she thought her parents were just being frivolous using it every time. I asked her what she thought it was really for and she thought it was to keep the washing machine clean and was terribly upset that her detergent budget had increased after I told her. TLDR. My astrophysicist bestie was taking her clothes on a field trip through the washing machine and didn't understand the purpose of laundry detergent. A friend of mine. 4.0 GPA unweighted, 35 act, 36 super score, smart A kid, but he went running barefoot in 101 degree weather on a gravel road because he wanted to increase his pain tolerance. My dad, he had one of his ears pierced when he was in college, he went to a party wearing an earring, a girl started talking to him and decided to give him one of her earrings, but he didn't want to take his earring out. So he stabbed her earring through his unpierced earlobe. This man is now an engineer. Your dad is metal as F. To be fair, I've also watched him drop a screwdriver on his head while trying to replace a light fixture. My friend M is really good at math. She literally minored in it for fun. One day, we were walking along, and she said guys, I saw something on Facebook this morning we're only 81 years from the year 3000. This was in 2019. I thought she was making fun of the silly Facebook people. Then she said isn't that crazy? And then I realized that my friend who enjoyed calculus, genuinely thought that 2019 plus 81 equals 3000. I had to break it to her gently. I will never let her live it down. To be fair, most math she's doing probably doesn't involve any numbers. Doesn't explain why she forgot basic math. But definitely makes me feel better about struggling with 7x8. My brother's friend was high school valedictorian. In college, he gathered up deer turds to play a practical joke on his roommate by putting said deer turds into a box of Cocoa Puff cereal. Two days later he forgets about the deer turds and goes to pour himself a bowl of Cocoa Puffs, instead of nice, sugary cereal. He gets a spoonful of deer turds. Justice has been served. In more than one way lol. Who on earth could forget about the poop deposit? I would 100% forget after a couple of days. It's how I don't ever ruin surprises pranks. Oftentimes I'm just as surprised at what I've done. Which I think is a magical time for all. Had a roommate who was working on their PhD in psychology get mad at me for leaving the washer on the hot water setting. 
She was upset because she didn't think she could get her jeans to stretch back out to fit her. When I said they are cotton so they should stretch back she said they are denim not cotton. I even asked her to check the tag but her thumb was covering the one so she said they are 00% cotton. Eventually I got her to move her thumb and believe me. Really nice roommate and a lovely person. She finished her PhD just fine and I'm sure she's a great psychologist just not the best at laundry. My brother is one of, if not the smartest person I know, 36 on his act, likely on the spectrum. He moved out to Nashville at 19 to try to become a rockstar and moved back about 9 months later because of issues with his landlord. He left his drums, a couple guitars and his entire wardrobe behind because f that guy probably lost something like $2 k worth of sh doing that. I graduated with someone who got a perfect SAT score, but managed to cut off two fingers in shop class while trying to make a birdhouse. Was this before or after taking the test? My late father was a particle physicist. He understood things that I think I'm not being hyperbolic here only about 3000-5000 people understand. He was on a team that worked on the calculation of the mass of the Higgs boson. His team got it wrong. In addition to being a particle physicist, he was also an avid student of history and completed two bachelor's degrees at MIT. One in physics, one in history, and you. That's not a double major, but two degrees in four years. Anyway, that guy got done in by a two-bit con job at an ATM in the late 90s. They wrote him a bum check for $200 or something and he gave them cash. My brother is a EMT firefighter that spends his free time exploring the outdoors, traveling, and reading every book on the planet. Super interesting to talk to and the amount of knowledge and experience this man has had in his young life is absolutely mind-blowing. That being said when we were teens at a party he was drunk as almighty hell and someone dared him to eat some grass. Who knows why. And he grabs as much as he can in the backyard and starts munching away saying oh so good so good might be the best thing I've ever had Harry and that's when I saw that he also had a mouth full of dogs that must have been on that grass he grabbed. When I told him he puked on the spot. I love that intellectual idiot. I had a buddy, in school for mechanical engineering, very bright, but a little on the cocky side. He ended up moving to the FWTX area, ended up getting on meth, losing his job, then into selling it, then stealing high dollar bicycles at the nearby college campus, ends up getting caught with felony theft and meth distribution. Now he's on felony probation for 10 years and lost his college scholarship. Got married due to family pressure, super talented scientific mind. Had 70 plus publications before getting married. Now admits that his pace has not only slowed down but wife is edging him to change profession because scientific research doesn't pay as per her expectations. I have a remarkably intelligent, talented, and sensitive friend. He's well educated, an accomplished musician very knowledgeable about practical stuff like car repairs and investments and plumbing and programming and carpentry and cooking he is a very very hard worker exercises and eats properly has probably never been more than five pounds over his ideal weight he is in his mid 60s he started smoking cigarettes and cigars when he was about 50 did the whole thing of practicing in front of mirror he smokes once or maybe twice a day with a drink in the evening but who the f starts smoking at 50 the owner of the company I work for is one of the most intelligent people I have ever met. If you know someone who has had a hip replacement odds are he is the one that engineered it. He owns something like 15-20 patents on products he has designed. He has created company after company and sold them after sweeping through whatever market. He does have some blind spots. One day he came to me and asked what side of the envelope the stamp goes on. He had never mailed anything before because his mom and then wife took care of everything for him. To be fair asking obvious questions seem kind of dumb but is a sign of intelligence. Intelligent people want to get things right and will sometimes ask stupidly obvious questions they know the answer already just to be certain. Source, I work with some smart people like that.